Paola Bedosa versus Alina Ostapenko. Fourth quarter final for the ladies Rome Open for 2023. Both players have been super impressive to get to this stage. Bedosa entered the tournament unseated and will take on the qualifier Freedsman in the first round. And after losing the first set, would have to battle to win 4-6, 6-2, 7-6. In the second round, she'd take on the number four seed Jabur, who'd been battling injury of late. This was no problem for Bedosa, getting through in straights 6-1, 6-4. In the third round, she'd take the 32nd seed Kostyuk. And again, this would be no problem for Bedosa, winning in straights 6-4. 4-6-2. In the fourth round, she'd take on Mukova, another unseated player who had taken out some big names along the way. And after taking the first set, she would have to fight to win in three, 6-4, six, 6-7, six, six, to advance to the quarterfinals. Ostapenko entered the tournament as the 20th seed and would get a bye in the first round. In the second round, she'd take on Kostea, who had been very impressive the last couple of months. And Ostapenko would have to fight to win in three, 6-3, six, 3-6, three, three, six, six, In the third round, she'd take on the number 10 seed, Krajikova, who'd been having a pretty decent season so far. And after a good comeback in the first set, she would demolish Krajikova in the second, 7-6-6-love, six, six, to advance to the fourth round. Fourth round, she'd take on the number eight seed, Kazakina, who'd been getting in a little bit of form this week. And after splitting the first two sets, Ostapenko again would demolish in the final set, 6-4-4-6-6-love, six, four, four, six, six, to advance to the quarterfinals. These two have actually played three times before with Bedosa leading the head-to-head 2-1, including a win at the French Open on clay back in 2020 against Ostapenko in straight sets. If Bedosa's going to win this one, she needs to be aggressive and keep her cool as well, because we know what Ostapenko's going to do. She's going to go crazy with some ground so she's going to keep hit really hot form as well so Bedosa is going to make sure she keeps her cool so that she doesn't get angry because of how Ostapenko is playing Ostapenko is going to win this one she needs to take it back a notch I feel it kind of goes a little bit too crazy with some of these attacking games and we can see there that it has almost cost her sets as well this week and against Bedosa who's a little bit more solid than maybe some of the players she's played this week she needs to be a little less aggressive maybe a little bit more strategic to get through Bedosa. It's gonna be a very fun matchup. Two players that maybe we didn't expect to be in this stage of the competition, but they are here and it's gonna be a big, big match. I'm gonna go with Bedosa to win this one. I reckon she has just been playing really well lately and she's on the comeback, of course, being unseated at this tournament, but I reckon she's gonna slowly start climbing back up the rankings. This time last year, she was in the top 10 and she'll take Ostapenko out in three, but let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think's gonna win this one?